previously on Destiny. This is what I brought you here to see. Allow me to take you back. Back to the dawning of stasis and the discovery of Europa. There were many a mystery on the day the Kell of Darkness attempted to destroy everything. But that's not why we're here today, no. This is important. During the Bungie Showcase, there were many big reveals, but one in particular made its grand debut in a way that Guardians could never have expected. Welcome back, Guardians. My name is Samlab. Today I ask the question, what is the Puka? We first met the Puka during the launch of Beyond Light, after the Exo Stranger Elsie Bray summoned Drifter and Eris Morn to Europa to show them what she had discovered about the pyramid ship now resting on Europa. We still don't know what the true purpose of that pyramid or its ziggurat is, but rest assured, it will tie heavily into Lightfall and Season of Redacted in 2023. Many have made comparisons about the Puka, claiming it is a ghost. But let me put all speculation at ease. It is not a ghost. This was confirmed by Luke Smith after the Beyond Light Showcase in 2020, during an interview with Dr. Lupo. Here is a clip. Um, the, uh, the thing that's not a ghost, uh, I'm just going to ask it outright. Are we going to be able to, to obtain something similar? Uh, not this year. Not this year. Are you implying in the future that it would be potentially uh, possible? I, it, it, I mean, it's certainly it's certainly uh, an idea that we're that we are we are deeply considering because I think that the I, th I think it's you know you put something in front of in front of people you see how they react to it you see if they think it's cool and um, and, and then we'll we'll go from there. I think there's a bunch of opportunity to you know the the stranger's uh, little buddy is. Uh, <laughs> I think it's pretty super cool, but you know, our, our community is going to tell us what they think. They usually do. It is a very big deal indeed, simply for the possibility that Guardians could gain access to their very own Puka. This is suggested in many things. So journey with me into the near future and have a listen to the Armament lore entry titled Quicksilver Storm. Thus it reads. Restoring 
Proximity. Exo. Model. Ray. Underscore. Special. Puka. Juvenile. Unknown. Extreme caution. Paracausal. Unknown. Said we were going home. I don't want to be on Ganymede. There's no one here. That's the point, Toki. No one dies if this goes Grey Goose on us. Register. Unknown. Toki. This housing. And frame replicant. The scans I took. Not sure why it won't fire. Biometric. Unrecognized. This doesn't work. May I have my pretty silver back? I like it better on me than in a gun. Your accessory came from a gun. Someone in the outer system is using weaponized nanomachines. I haven't seen that. That shouldn't mean you can just take other people's things. I've seen everything, Toki. Contact call three. Almost everything. But I can't figure out from the scans how the original design propelled anything. Isn't that why you kept the piece of the original barrel? Someone spent some time etching that motto by hand. Seems respectful to keep it. I will never understand Guardians. So, someone out there has a weapon I've never seen before. Don't understand. And don't know how to defend against. The closest thing we've seen to this is Siva. And these bugs are so far beyond that. Unison. Call. Point one. Get off that fish. Key. Puka. Designated. Verified. Add user. Y. Forward slash N. Y. Dumb little critter. You'll blow yourself up. Go on. My silver is moving, Elsie. Register. Exo. Model. Bray. Underscore. Special. Elsie. New user. Registered. Elsie. So if this is the barrel. Calibrating. And this is the magnetic bottle. Calibrating. Pulling the trigger should section off around, but then what actually fires- Discharge, Elsie. Distress call, point one. What did you do? I didn't change anything. The nanite colony might build each other with a solid state impeller coil? That small? That's like golden age tech. No, we never had anything like this. There are a few things I would like to extract from this law entry that I think we need to pay attention to. 1. Quicksilver Storm 2. The Puka 3. Golden Age This weapon is one of a kind, built from the ground up using Golden Age technology, long forgotten since the collapse, powered by something called Quicksilver. Elsie Bray confirms it to be similar to Siva tech, but refined, taken further than Siva ever could be. Next is the Puka itself. This law entry goes into some detail with the Quicksilver auto rifle, identifying what it is with the log. Proximity 3. Exomodel Bray Special. Puka. Juvenile. Unknown. Extreme Caution. Paracausal. Our biggest clue here is the very last word used in conjunction with the code reference, paracausal. This would suggest that the puka is an entity of paracausal nature, similar to ghosts perhaps, or worse, the darkness equivalent to ghosts, but of a techno-organic origin. Thirdly, the weapon register recognises Elsie Bray, as a special exo. Given who the Bray family is, it wouldn't be too far a stretch to imagine their unique digital fingerprints would have been pre-programmed into every inch of technology during the Golden Age. And based on the beginning of this law entry, we can summarise that Elsie and A Ghost are on Ganymede Station, possibly orbiting the black hole near Neptune's orbit. It is fascinating to me that twice we would meet or read about the Puka, previously dubbed by me as the Echo, 
next to a member of the Bray family, and in proximity to more Golden Age technology. It's clear that Bungie set this up two years ahead of time, by planting the narrative threads and seeing if Guardians would be able to discover all the strong hints. Revealing the Exo Stranger was the precursor to Neptune being revealed during the Bungie Showcase on August 23rd, 2022. So, here are my final thoughts, and this is purely an idea, but what if the Puka has two stages? Juvenile and adult. This sort of identification suggests that these paracausal creatures may be native to the wilds of Neptune, and they are indeed companions, or could be acquired. At what cost? It has already been established that Cloud Striders, the guardian types of the Neomuna, sacrifice years of their life to undergo enhancements in order to become heroes of the Golden Age city. However, some part of this story still escapes our grasps. Until then, we'll keep hoping and waiting for the true light of hope to prevail. Even when all seems bleak and everything is lost, hold on to hope and keep pushing through. For you are a child of light. For now, that's all I have for you. Hopefully you found this video entertaining, useful and easy to understand. If you did, be sure to comment below and give this video a like. Consider subscribing and click that bell notification to find out when my next video goes live. And if you'd like to help the channel keep going, consider buying me a coffee, because every little helps. Remember that no matter what you're going through at this moment in time, you can do all things. Stay safe and Godspeed.